So the purpose of the Synod is actually very ambitious. Pope Francis has really asked for the entire Christian, Catholic, baptized world to really talk about issues in the church that need to be looked at and changed or renewed or moved forward. He's very concerned that he hears from the peripheries, all right, people who are not included. And as we talked in our information session, some of the peripheries are our parents because the parents are, are not necessarily participating even though they might be bringing their children for uh, sacramental prep. So here in the Archdiocese of Newark, we've done well so far, I think, uh, with our timeline. And one of the things that we're in the process of doing is uh, information sessions around the diocese. One of the things that we've been finding is that there's actually excitement about the synod and the listening process here in the archdiocese. So we've been to different counties already and people just seem enthusiastic about it. On our website, we're putting up all of the uh, information that we have. So for example, putting up the brand new listening session, we've tweaked the questions, try to make them a little more user friendly, we also put up uh, the information sessions. We've just made a facilitator's guide to help people with the uh, listening sessions. So for a main facilitator as well as table facilitators, it will be there. The webpage is amazing. Our communications department has been doing terrific uh, stuff with that in terms of putting it together. We have it all in Spanish. We have it all in English, and we're starting to put up some things from different languages. So, for example, Polish has just gone up. We'll be working with some of the other language groups. We really hope that we are going to get some really good information that helps not only Pope Francis from people around the world, but that here in the Archdiocese, this is going to help us with the way we structure any of our programs or any of our ways of reaching out, evangelization, whatever it is in the Archdiocese. This is going to contribute to our planning here. So if it doesn't change the whole world, we know that we have the opportunity here in the Archdiocese and in our parishes to really focus in on the things that are missing, the things that are really good or successes, and then make pastoral plans from there. So it kind of goes down from the big picture church to the archdiocese picture church and the parish picture church. So if we can accomplish those three things with our listening sessions, I think we're off to a great start.